and for more. We're also joined by Norbert Walter, financial market expert, economist, and of course, CEO of uh, Walter and Daughters. So we would like to hear your take uh, on Estonia joining the Eurozone. Is that a good choice or madness? Good move. As pre-announced, confirming the constructive attitude of the Baltic states to be full members of Europe and not like uh, some of the more half-hearted stay out of the Eurozone. So it's a good move for Estonia, but uh, what about the other way around? Uh, the Eurozone is already fighting some problems, let's say. Yeah. Um, can we take someone else on board? We can take uh, those on board that have performed well. And the Baltic states have performed well. They've fulfilled the mastery criteria and therefore they can and should join. Now, also someone just said, um, as long as Germany keeps the euro, it will be safe. How long will we keep the euro? Uh, longer than I'm going to live and I will live for a long time. <laughs> we hope pretty so. Pretty sure. <laughs> and uh, uh, yes, I believe uh, the euro, because of the European Central Bank and its constitution, will perform a wonderful job for a very good national currency for the Europeans and an international currency to be a competitor to the dollar. But uh, just to play devil's advocate uh, once more, a lot has happened in 2010. Mm. Uh, Europe's bailed out Greece, Ireland, uh, Spain's been downgraded and so forth. Um, are we looking at a bottomless pit? Uh, no. We have seen that many of the cases that you just mentioned have undertaken big reforms, impressive reforms, and they have got uh, considerable support by the population, even if these reforms are very painful. That's something uh, we, the donors, should observe and the financial market experts uh, should observe as well. Well, despite all this uh, uh, on the bright side, of course, Germany's economy has grown faster mm. than uh, previously expected, almost uh, 4% this year. Uh, it looks like we can shoulder all of this. Uh, first of all, this was partly on drugs and partly on help coming from Asia, from China in particular. You shouldn't expect that this continues forever and you shouldn't expect that the exchange rate, a weak euro, helps for a long time either. So there are some difficulties out there. We should be, uh, therefore, understanding that 2011 probably will not show the same high growth rate. It may be 2, 2.5% two rather than the f almost 4% we had in 2010. As long as there is a growth rate at all. Norbert Walter, just very briefly, your personal wish for 2011. True. I want to have the post-war baby boomers of uh, Germany and Europe work longer. They should retire much later. And in order to do a good job, they should go to university and uh, should go to studies in order to be wonderfully productive in their old age. That sounds good. Thank you very much for being here and Happy New Year, of course. Thank you.